So I'm currently ASLMU's Chair of University Affairs. So my main role is to ensure that student voices on campus continue to be heard mm -hmm. through active engagements and programming. Mm -hmm. So with this event, we work really closely with the Center for Service in Action, Resilience, and ASLMU to try to create a week-long event that focused on the DREAM Act and focused on DREAMers and DACA because that's a community on campus that's very present and very alive. So we wanted to make sure that with this week we were able to highlight their experiences but also take legislative change um, and not just do a quick event but also do something that students can engage in civic action. Um, so it's really important for all of us to be able to do this work. Mm -hmm. ASLMU in conjunction with Mecha, Resilience, CLSS, the Dean of Student Office, and CSA have all partnered together uh, to sponsor this week's Dream Action Week. And it's really neat, uh, LMU initiated this week and we called on all the different Jesuit universities in the entire country to participate as well. We've worked really closely with Ignatian Solidarity Network, the AJCU, and like I said, other institutions to really ensure that Dream Action Week is as big as it can possibly be. It's been a lot of work, it's also been a lot of fun. We really enjoy engaging with the community in issues centered around advocacy to not only educate, but to also take action. Because I think with something like this, it's important to be informed about the matters at hand, but also to publicly stand in solidarity with our undocumented students here and across the country. And with something like this, action is of the essence, and that's exactly what we plan on doing with Dream Action Week. Overall, the responses have been overwhelmingly positive, and I'm really excited about that. Um, students from all across campus, students that have been involved in Resilience and Mecha and ASLMU have been supportive, and also we're meeting a lot of new students who are coming out and showing their support, and that's really exciting, um, because this is an issue that affects a lot of folks here in LA, a lot of folks in California and across the country, and a lot of folks here at LA. Honestly, it has been amazing to see all the support LMU has given to the DACA recipients. It's really nice to see that even if you're not affected by the program, people still care and still want to do something to make a difference. So I myself am an immigrant. I moved uh, to the United States from Mexico when I was nine. Uh, luckily, my dad was a U.S. citizen, so we were able to obtain documentation. Um, but I know that that's a privilege that I have that not many people on this campus may have or across the country. So for me, being an immigrant myself and recognizing that privilege that I have as a documented individual is to be able to give back to individuals and to make sure that my community of immigrants who are undocumented is able to obtain the same privileges that I do because at the end of the day, we're striving for the same human rights as anyone would like to have. So this is not a political issue in my eyes. I see it as a humanitarian issue, an issue that we need to address not as politics, numbers, and economics, but an issue of these are human lives at stake.